welcome back to my channel so today this is a very little quick bit the first bit of this video uh, it'll be the second um, project in my altar six things uh, so my idea for this is this is clearly which I'm struggling actually to get in the frame sorry a uh, breadstick box um, we did some breadsticks after a barbecue or something with a barbecue and the box was just sort of sitting there you know empty like that and I thought mm, that's a nice spine and a nice size and this will be something different I have not done any long thin portrait style so this is what it looks like at the moment um, I will pop back when I've decided you know what the papers are what it's going to have in there what the cover will be um, but this is it before it is altered so I will see you soon don't know when I'll actually be seeing you because it depends how long it takes me to do this. All right then, but for you, I'll see you in a few minutes. Bye. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with the third out of five of the upcycled or what I've altered things. And today is the breadstick box. So if I've joined the videos, you should have just seen the breadstick box in its former glory and now it is completely transformed into a lovely journal um i have covered this i'm going to just zoom out a little bit if i can i can't right i've got to really stay in frame with this because it's so tall um, it's a really long thin journal i've really enjoyed making this um i did cover the breadstick box with um fabric on one side and if i just undo the closure um, on the part, on the front, obviously, once I'd put the fabric in, I just popped um, a little lace pocket here, and in there, I've just popped a tag and just a piece of paper, just really so that you can um, journal on there. So they just go in the front cover. Obviously, I've sewn all the way around the outside of the fabric, and then on the inside, I've um, aligned the breadstick box with some scrapbook paper that I've got, and you can see the inside of the sewing. I love this journal. It is um, three signatures. I haven't decorated it. I'm going to leave that for whoever um, purchases it. I love this journal because it just lies completely flat, which I do think is nice if you're writing in a journal or even if you're gluing or art, um, you know, art collaging, anything like that. It's nice if your um, journal actually lies flat. So, um, I'll just go through. There's a variety of different pages. Some are printables, um, some coffee dyed paper. As you can see, though, I hope that you can see, it's all got quite a nice theme, a bit abstract, a bit collagey, slightly neutrally. Um, there's some real book pages in there. That was a, was it a cross stitch book? I can't even remember. I think it's cross stitch or tapestry. That with a bit of a pull out that's obviously the center of the signature with this sort of ledger and um, printable so just a variety of pages that was obviously a long one with a letter on one side and ledger on the other so i've just folded that up so it fits in really nice the other side of the coffee dyed and that's, a, that's that signature going into the second signature some book page uh, this is some vintage ledger that I've got, uh, 1964 it might be, or it might be older than that. Uh, sewing paper, brown paper. Um, this is some vintage, I'm not sure if it's actually Doll's, uh, Doll's House wallpaper, I can't remember. But there's some of that, there's some blank manuscript paper. Printable makes the centre of this signature. And obviously you've just got the same pages as you flip back through. Then the third and final signature, we've got some um, recycled paper, some scrapbook paper, some music paper, printables, other printables, more printables. I love this ledger printable. I think it was Ruby and Pearl, I think. Is it Ruby and Pearl? I think it is. Centre of that signature. Just love it. I think it's just lovely for writing on or if you want to decorate it up further, you could do, uh, you know, pop on pockets, clip things in, um, just love it. So that is my breadstick box, upcycled, which you'd never really know now, into the journal. 
so um, it will be listed down below and I will be back very shortly with my fourth upcycle um, or what have I changed it into now I don't know how often I'll post these videos but the next one will be um, you know like a drug dosset box so that'll be the next thing that I altered all right but for now thanks for stopping by bye bye